Hey y'all, welcome to Lex Lives. I think it's time we play a little Seven Days to Die. I saw you, bunny. Hopping around my house. Uh, so today I thought maybe we would try some cooking. And someone suggested that I make some goldenrod tea. The problem is, is that I don't have any goldenrod. And so I am going to have to uh, go find some goldenrod. Because I've never made the goldenrod tea. Um, <laughs> I looked around a little bit already today for goldenrod. But uh, it's... It's apparently only found in Pine Forest, which is what this? Oh, crap. I'm out of water right now. So let's head. Am I heading the right direction here? Yeah. So let's head off this way to get to the Pine Forest. Oh, no, this way. And, uh, oh, that's one drink too many of the water there, buddy. You don't have that much water to waste. I'm out of water again. I'm always out of water. It's ridiculous. Alright. I need a good, uh, holster your weapon plan. But, uh, yeah, so I, I want to try out this goldenrod tea. I've never made it before. Um, I made the grill so we could try that out. So we need to be on the watch for um, nests as we go. Because I want to try the bacon and eggs recipe, which requires two eggs. And I haven't been collecting eggs. Uh, there's also boiled eggs. I didn't know there were boiled eggs. I guess I was thinking they should you know, convert into raw egg, and then I cook that, but, um, you know, I'm, one of the other games I play has, like, scrambled eggs, and boiled eggs, and fried eggs, and stuff like that, and so I was thinking that that should have been in my recipes, but, yeah, there's stuff not in my recipe, so I don't know if I'm missing the recipe book, or if you can just make it, um, because maybe I just don't have the recipes to be able to make this stuff, I don't know. Yeah, we're almost there. I'm really surprised I haven't seen any nests. Usually they're all over the place when I'm just uh, wandering around collecting things. Uh, I'm not sure what the goldenrod looks like. I've probably seen it before and just ignore it because I don't really collect this stuff. Uh, I know like this red here, this chrysanthemums, is used in... Oh. Bad dog. Bad dog. Bad dog. Whew. Stupid zombie dogs. Uh, I know the chrysanthemums are used to dye like wooden planks. And uh, so I've grabbed a few of those. Because uh, I did see there was a couple of crafting recipes that use the, the red wood uh, specifically to make things. Um, oh, and we've updated to 8.8. .8. This is 8.8. .8. Uh, uh, it's basically just a bug hotfix, I guess. I didn't read the actual patch notes for it. I just uh, went to the front of the website. Um, I was more excited for what's coming up in Alpha 9. Ooh, if they get everything in Alpha 9 that's listed on the website for Alpha 9... That's going to be awesome. I cannot wait for procedurally generated worlds. That's going to be spectacular. Unlimited uh, world size. Well, I mean, there's a limit. You can't get bigger than your computer can handle. But uh, the world just generates on its own instead of having the preset map. Not that the map isn't different every time I wander around it a little bit. Uh, but uh, 
I am looking forward to... Now, that was white flower, right? Just some more white flower. Yeah. Is this pine? This looks like pine. Ooh, right here. This must be goldenrod. Yeah. See? I was looking all over the place for it. And I went on the wiki to make sure I wasn't on a wild goose chase. Because when I opened my crafting guide, there is no... Or there wasn't, anyways. Yeah, see, I don't have any recipe for goldenrod tea. Makes me worried. I might not have the recipes for it. Maybe you gotta have the recipe book for that now. Uh, but I also need some nests. Where are all the nests hiding today? Of course, if it's uh, if it's only visible in the cooking window too, it won't be in the crafting window. And since I know it's cooked up in the cooking pot, uh, I assume it will only be visible when I have a campfire open. And I currently don't have a campfire. Well, I have one. It's just back at my house. All right, birds. Where's your nests? I need some nests. I need some eggs. I'm going to make some bacon and eggs. I've got some pork back at home. Just waiting to be cooked up. I was killing pigs with my with my sledgehammer. It was pretty funny. I'd run up on them and hit them a couple times with a sledgehammer. I found it funny anyways. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, I uh, procedurally generated worlds. They were talking about adding in uh, sprains and broken bones. Uh, and, well, for legs, anyways. Um, adding in some other diseases besides the zombie virus thing. Uh, they are talking like dysentery. And uh, I think there were a couple other diseases in there with that. Uh, and just adding some more, some more survival realism to the game. Uh, eventually they'll have to get in, like, uh, well, I guess they don't have to. But it'd be cool if they eventually get in, like, um, temperature variations. And you wind up with, like, uh, cold and hot affecting you. Uh, I don't know. It, I know it, like, I played Starbound... Which I haven't played in a while. I should check that out since they've uh, patched. There's a bird's nest. I probably walked past two dozen of these and just couldn't see them. Well, it's not feathers I'm after. I want eggs. Give me your eggs. I wonder if it would be easier to find nests in the cities. I need two eggs. Well, maybe three eggs. Maybe more. Uh, let me see. Boiled egg. And... Uh, boiled egg and the bacon and eggs. That's all I really see for eggs. So, if we can find couple more eggs. I'll try both of those. Uh, looks like I'm probably going to have to kill some more animals, too. I am getting low on the food. Oh, that's a pile of trash. I thought that was a nest. That's a rock. It's hard to see. There's so much stuff on the ground. Like I said, I've probably walked past half a dozen nests because I just don't see them. Mm. We're talking with uh, JJ from Derbycraft, hoping to uh, maybe get the Derbycraft server back up and going tomorrow. Which is uh, would actually be today for if you're watching this the day I release this. Oh, that's just a rock. I suddenly thought that was like a pile of dirt I could dig up for some reason, and then I realized that's not the kind of thing that's in this game. 
Uh, you can see from my my crafting window here that uh, I have been mining a little bit in my mind, just a little bit, not a lot. And uh, want to make sure I was headed the right direction here. Wind up over in the uh, snowy area. Uh, I just want to try out the mine a little bit. Needs a little bit of dirt in there to cover up the bottom of the logs that I put down. Because uh, they look weird. You can see through the bottom of them. Oh, there's a nest. I would have walked right past this nest if it hadn't been for that bag. Oh, there's our bacon and eggs. Now we can find one more nest in all this mess. Wow, these guys apparently knew I was out of water. If I could find one more nest with a egg in it, I'd be uh, appreciative of game. Oh, I apparently already searched that. It said empty duffel when you put your mouse pointer over it. You're wasting your time. But yeah, I'm kind of excited to get back on the... Uh, well, okay, so uh, we're, we're going to be opening a new world completely, so it will be starting over on the Derpy Craft again. <laughs> we have the worst luck with this thing. I was joking that uh, I, I used the host that had our previous map on it for a year, and then uh, shortly after he put Derpy Craft on the host that I use, uh, the whole host collapsed. And now none of my servers are open. And so JJ was saying it'd be really funny if, uh, he, he's gonna move to a new host tomorrow. And, uh, so when he does that, as soon as he takes DerpyCraft off of, uh, the other host, that, uh, my, my worlds will come back up because Derpy won't be on there anymore. <laughs> uh, good old Derpy. But yeah, it's been it's been pretty quiet. Uh, we were doing so many collab things with uh, Dizzy and JJ. Uh, I kind of got in the fun of that, and uh, you know, we were on Mars, getting ready to explore Mars. Now I'll have to get back to Mars. But if we go back to we're supposed to go back to Attack of the B Team. Not that this has anything to do with Seven Days to Die, I guess. But uh, it'll be fun because we're going to work on a dinosaur island together. Or something like that. So probably, probably get working on that. But uh, I'm really looking forward to the procedurally generated worlds in this. I, uh, I really have been waiting since they even came out for that to be in here. I mean, the, the map is nice and all, but uh, the, the ability to explore outwards and find new places uh, is going to be awesome. I'm really curious as to see how the generation works and uh, like like now there are set buildings and things like that so um, you know I don't know if they're gonna have it sort of generate new subdivisions or cities uh, I think it's supposed to start with a central city and then generate outwards from that. Uh, and so I don't, I don't know, because right now we have a set map size, uh, and I haven't really looked that closely into it. But it will really be awesome. I think so, anyways. I forgot to watch for nests. I've been walking along, just looking around. Totally oblivious to the fact that I am looking for nests. I have got to start swinging sooner. Now I can't see anything because of this sledgehammer in my face. Somebody stepped on a landmine, and it wasn't me. Oh, somebody stepped on another landmine. Still not me. 
I wonder if I have any eggs. I guess I didn't look that close. I might have an egg back here. Like I said, I just needed the two to get the bacon and eggs, because I really want to see the bacon and eggs. Uh, but I wouldn't have minded a third one to make a boiled egg, too, because I've never done that before, either. Oh, here's our uh, cobblestone. Told you I was going to show what that looked like today. It, uh... It's not as cobbled, I guess, as I was hoping, but that makes sense because it's supposed to be a... I wanted it for, like, a nice little cobbled path, but it's not the right kind of cobble for the ground. Not that I'm going to dig it out or anything, but, uh... Yeah, that's what I ended up with. Alright, we're going to have to take these zombies out before we can get started here. Otherwise, I'll tear holes in things. <laughs> you're dead. Well, you're... Re-dead? I don't know. Something. Alright. Now let's see about some cooking. I need my grill back. Um... I need my raw pork back. I think that's about it. I think that's the sum total of my cooking abilities. Alright. Now, this is... The, oh, you know what? Let me, uh... Let me unload some of this non-food stuff here. so that I've got room for cooking. Um, yeah, grass, we don't need that. Okay. Oh, and I need some coal to cook with here. All right. So, um... Boiled egg, goldenrod tea, boiled pork. Let's start with goldenrod tea. So we got the cooking pot, and I assume that's goldenrod and some water. And then we got to give it some coal to cook with. Man, it takes a long time to cook. That stuff would better be spectacular. I heard more zombies. Hey, zombies, I'm busy cooking. You're interrupting my cooking. Did you smell me because I'm cooking? Oh, I thought there were two of you out there. Apparently not. There was nobody out there. Alright, you got some of this done yet? Yes, goldenrod tea. Okay, I'm going to drink this and see what it does for us. Like I said, never, oh, it looks cool. Should give us a... Nothing, huh? Well, I should have looked at it then before I did it. I thought it gave us a buff like the coffee does. Coffee gives you a running buff. This just seems to have... Let's see, we can uh, hold the mouse over it and see what it does. Plus 40 stamina, plus 40 hydration. Versus 20 and 20. Wow, that's way better than water. Cool. I'm going to have to start using uh, Goldenrod Tea then. Uh, now, the next thing I wanted to try out was the bacon and eggs. All right, bacon and eggs. See right there. Uh, I was also going to grill up a pork, so go ahead and get on the grill here. And we'll throw in some coal, get this started. Can't tell if it's cooking or not. Cook me up some pork. 
And we'll make some boiled pork while we're at it so we can compare all this. Oh, I think I got zombies incoming, though. Alright, now it's an egg, an egg, and a raw pork. Yes. Get off my hot bar here. Oh, dang it. Screwed that right up, didn't I? Cook those, will ya? I got a uh, zombie to deal with here. They're coming in because they can smell me. Alright, there's that. And then we're going to take the grill back out. And put back in the cooking. And then I want to do a water. <laughs> Come on, guys. I'm trying to cook here. You're interfering with my cooking show. Come on. Get on. Cook that. Was that another one or was that with a deer jumping in the water? Or a rabbit. I just saw a rabbit run past. Alright. I think we're zombie free at the moment. Stay outside. <laughs> okay. And then I also want to do... Uh, with a stick. I've never cooked with a stick before. Quick. Well, I've still got time. Oh, I don't have time. Cook it. Give me some charred pork. That looks terrible. Okay, now let's go outside away from the fire so we can look at this. Just because the fire's noisy. Alright. So, what we've got is... We've got raw pork, which has a smell range of 60 meters on the belt, 20 in the bag. Uh, what's... Bag smells drinks is 4 meters. Range is 20. I don't know what STR for bag smell is. So 20 and 60. Uh, and immediately you get food poisoning. So it's negative 7 health, negative 30 stamina, plus 15 fullness, negative 7 hydration, negative 30 wellness. So we don't want to eat raw pork. Uh, charred is supposed to be the easiest one to make. So that's... Uh, 7 health, 15 fullness, 10 smell, and 30 smell. So basically halves the smell range of raw pork, but also makes it uh, plus 7 health instead of negative everything. Uh, and then the next one above that is supposed to be on the grill. So grilled pork, 5 and 15, so half of the charred, but it's still only... 7 health and 15 fullness. And then boiled has the least smell. 1 meter, 1 meter, 5 meter, 2 meter. Uh, but it's also still 7 and 15. Um, so really once you cook it, it doesn't matter which way you cook it. That just changes the smell range. Uh, and then our last thing we cooked here was bacon and eggs. Uh, wow, which is 20 health and 30 fullness. That's way better than eating the pork by itself. Wow. Like, way better. I am surprised. Uh, I guess I should have been keeping those eggs, huh? Wow. Impressive. Well, I think I'm going to call the episode here. Uh, I did what I wanted to do, do a little cooking and compare some things so that's pretty cool so all right click like if you like subscribe be sure and catch the next one and i will talk to you later